Welcome to the Smarter Balanced Assessment Consortium's Middle School Mathematics Grade Level Considerations Training Module. This module examines considerations for item and task development that are specific to grades 6 through 8. The topics discussed in this module include use of appropriate grade level and mathematics vocabulary, an overview of the Smarter Balanced Style Guide, appropriate representation of numbers in items and tasks, grade appropriate contexts, item difficulty, and the assessment targets that are grade level specific. Let's begin with grade appropriate vocabulary. Items must be written so students can understand the items and tasks without difficulty. Vocabulary used must be at or below the grade level being assessed. Appropriate grade level mathematics vocabulary is defined in the Common Core State Standards for Mathematics and the Smarter Balanced Mathematics item specifications. The Smarter Balanced Style Guide provides both global style conventions that apply to all content areas and style conventions that are specific to mathematics. The mathematics style conventions can be found in the Smarter Balanced Style Guide. It is important to review the Smarter Balanced Style Guide before writing items and tasks. Let's look at some mathematics style conventions specific to middle school grades. Use variables to indicate missing values in equations. The x in the equation 2x plus 4 equals 16 represents the missing value of 6. Use the product dot rather than the multiplication symbol as in the examples 2 times 12 and a times 2a. For scientific notation, however, use the multiplication symbol as shown in the example. In grade 8, use the terms translate, reflect, and rotate rather than slide, flip, or turn to describe translations. Use graphics or tables to present information in order to reduce the amount of reading. Now let's look at the treatment of numbers. Always use numerals for numbers that are used to solve a problem. In the example, numerals should be used for 9 and for 45 because they must be used to solve the problem. Use numerals for numbers that appear in equations. Use numerals for 19 and 35 in the equation example. In addition, the Smarter Balanced Style Guide directs item writers to use words for numbers that appear as the first word in a sentence. Words should also be used for the numbers 0 through 9 with the following exceptions. Use numerals for numbers 10 and above, numbers that precede units of measure, numbers that precede or follow symbols such as the percent sign or dollar sign, dates and years, time of day that appear before a.m. and p.m., and ordered pairs and coordinates. For all grades, there are rules that must be followed when using commas in numbers. Use commas in numbers with five or more numbers with four digits if the number appears with numbers of five or more digits, and numbers written as words. Do not use commas in Numbers with four digits if all numbers with which it appears contain four or less digits. Compound measures. Contexts of items must be appropriate for the age and experiences of middle school students. Appropriate contexts include, but are not limited to, popular sports played during physical education, bicycle riding, making nominal purchases, making and reading maps and floor plans, and school-related activities like art, drama, and music. Some examples of inappropriate contexts for grades 6 through 8 include, but are not limited to, things like skiing, which is an expensive sport and has geographic bias, and swimming pools and backyards due to socioeconomic biases. Saving to buy a new home or car or comparing costs for college would be appropriate contexts for older students but not appropriate for younger students. A range of difficulty is necessary to discriminate between low and high performing students. Items and tasks should form a continuum from easy, those that most students could be expected to answer, to hard, those that only a few students could be expected to answer, with most items falling in the middle range of difficulty. An adaptive test requires items that span a full range of difficulty, Item writers need to include items that they perceive as easy, medium, and hard. To help guide the development of items that range in difficulty, each sample item presented in the item specifications 
provides information about its anticipated difficulty level. Now, let's examine the claims and assessment targets contained in the Smarter Balanced Assessment Consortium Mathematics Content Specifications. For mathematics, there are four claims. Claim 1 focuses on concepts and procedures. Claim 1 requires students to explain and apply mathematical concepts and interpret and carry out mathematical procedures with precision and fluency. The focus is on content knowledge learned at the grade level being assessed. A variety of item types are used to collect evidence for Claim 1, including selected response, constructed response, and technology-enhanced items and tasks that focus on a particular skill or concept. Content for this claim may also be evaluated at a deeper level with extended response items and performance tasks. Items and tasks have a direct connection to, and emphasis on, the content domains and clusters of the Common Core State Standards for Mathematics. Assessment targets for Claim 1 are based on the cluster level headings from the Common Core State Standards and take into account ways in which the standards tie supporting clusters to the major work of the grade. For grades 6 through 8, there are six categories of assessment targets that are measured, including ratios and proportional relationships, the number system, expressions and equations, geometry, statistics and probability, and functions. Let's look at the progression of knowledge and skills measured for each assessment target across grades 6 through 8. Ratios are first introduced at grade 6 and are continued and extended to proportional relationships at grade 7. Students apply and extend previous understandings of operations with fractions in grade 5 to the system of rational numbers in grade 6 and 7 and irrational numbers in grade 8. Expressions and equations progress from working with numerical expressions at grade 5 to introducing algebraic expressions and equations at grade 6 to creating expressions and equations and using them to solve problems at grade 7 and to analyzing and solving more complex problems at grade 8. Geometry progresses from points on a coordinate plane and classifying two-dimensional figures at grade 5 to area, surface area, and volume at grade 6 continues with applications and adds drawing and constructing figures at grade 7, and extends to congruence and similarity and the Pythagorean theorem at grade 8. The topic of statistics and probability is first introduced at grade 6, and extends to sampling, inferences, and probability at grade 7, and then to associations in bivariate data at grade 8. Functions are first introduced at grade 8, with defining, evaluating, comparing, and modeling functions. Claim 2 focuses on problem solving and requires students to solve a range of complex, well-posed problems in pure and applied mathematics, making productive use of knowledge and problem-solving strategies. Evidence for Claim 2 is elicited through selected response, constructed response, extended response, and technology-enhanced items and tasks that focus on problem solving. Claim 2 items and tasks should require students to construct their own pathway to the solution. Some relevant verbs that identify content clusters and or standards for Claim 2 include understand, solve, apply, describe, illustrate, interpret, and analyze. Claim 3 focuses on communicating reasoning and requires students to clearly and precisely construct viable arguments to support their own reasoning and to critique the reasoning of others. Evidence for Claim 3 is elicited through constructed response, extended response, and technology-enhanced items and tasks that focus on mathematical reasoning. Relevant verbs that identify content clusters and or standards for Claim 3 include understand, explain, justify, prove, derive, assess, illustrate, and analyze. Claim 4 focuses on modeling and data analysis and requires students to analyze complex real-world scenarios and construct and use mathematical models to interpret and solve problems. Evidence for Claim 4 is elicited through performance tasks and collections of extended response items that focus on modeling and data analysis. Claim 4 tasks are real-world problems that are complex and may contain insufficient or superfluous data. 
Tasks generating evidence for Claim 4 in a given grade will draw upon knowledge and skills articulated in the progression of standards up to that grade, with strong emphasis on the major work of the grade. Relevant verbs that identify content clusters and or standards for Claim 4 include model, construct, compare, investigate, build, interpret, estimate, analyze, summarize, represent, solve, evaluate, extend, and apply. Claims 2, 3, and 4 are aligned to the mathematical practices from the Common Core State Standards for Mathematics and are identical across grade levels. For this reason, the assessment targets for Claims 2, 3, and 4 are not divided into a grade-by-grade -grade description. Rather, a general set of assessment targets is provided, which can be used as guidance for the development of item and task specifications for each grade. The assessment targets for Claims 2, 3, and 4 were presented in the Content and Item Specifications module and can be found in the Content Specifications document. This module introduced topics that should be considered when writing and reviewing items and tasks for grades 6 through 8 such as vocabulary, style, context, and item difficulty. The module also introduced the claims and the assessment targets for Claim 1 for middle school students that are found in the Smarter Balanced Mathematics Content Specifications.